Ladies and gentlemen, please get out your best otter attire as we prepare for Rosa's 22nd birthday party. Presented by me, Doug Doug, professional otter fan. On this day of our Lord, August 26, 2021, in the Graduate School of Otterology. One fateful day on this earth, a sea otter was born in named Rosa. Rosa the otter is the oldest sea otter at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. She was found stranded between Sunset and Manresa State Beaches in southern Santa Cruz County in September 1999. Only about four weeks old and weighing just over five pounds. In April 2000, she was released back in the wild where she spent nearly two years Years. She's a bit of a, a wild one until she began interacting with divers and climbing onto kayaks because she's awesome because of the potential risks to herself and people federal wildlife officials declared her non-releasable Rosa joined the sea otter exhibit in June 2002 during her years at the aquarium She's put her maternal instincts to work She's reared more pups than any other surrogate mother on the exhibit. Give it up for Rosa I mean, and look, there's a lot of great otters at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. You've got Abby. Everybody loves Abby. You've got Ivy. You've got Kit. But Rosa, oldest otter, nurse the moth, moth pup. Look at this creature. She's beautiful. Oh my God. And this is her live. This is the live otter cam at the Monterey Bay Aquarium right now. I don't know which one is Rosa. Whatever the cutest one is and the one with the most pups. She gets her name from a character in John Steinbeck's Tortilla Flat. I didn't, I didn't know that. Two years ago, we celebrated Rosa's 20th birthday and we raised $320.18. You can see my pog face right here. Let me re recreate it. Success. Last year on Rosa's 21st birthday, she got smashed and we raised $2,676, a slight increase. This is us destroying an evil fisherman boat or something. And now on Rosa's 22nd birthday, we will complete five aquatic gaming challenges in honor of Rosa to show her just how much we care. And all the money raised today is going to the Monterey Bay Aquarium as usual. I wanna up the stakes just a little bit. This year, I am going to match any donation up to last year's total. So I will personally match $2,676. So if the community raises that much, we will in total donate 5,200 something. We'll, we'll get kicked up into the next tier on the Monterey Bay Aquarium plaque. Five gaming challenges to honor our queen. Challenge number one, we're gonna do some YouTube click maps. Can Twitch chat, using the click map strategy that I just put out on YouTube, find a sea otter video? Yes, our goal is this is a slow and hostile takeover of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Can Twitch chat use Fat Albert to find a sea otter video? Challenge number two, this one one's obvious. Can Doug catch three fish in Red Dead Redemption 2 while Twitch chat controls the mods? I can do almost nothing in Red Dead Redemption 2. Catching a fish takes like 20 seconds. So can I live for a minute without dying? Challenge number three, Twitch chat beats one level of Peggle versus Claw the Lobster. This took us about a year to do in the past. Can we condense it into about 15 minutes? Challenge number four, you guessed it. Mario Kart! A sea race in GTA 5, except you guys are controlling the mods. Can I win a race while you guys are fucking with time and reality? And the final challenge, using the new and updated code, which makes it more fun. Twitch chat has to play Smash Bros Ultimate and beat all three aquatic animal characters. The squid, the penguin, and the crocodile. We're gonna play Squad Strike. In a single match, you have to beat all three of them, chat. And there will be an art contest. There's like a hundred submissions. We're just gonna celebrate beautiful art from our Queen Rosa. You might be asking yourself, why? Why make Rosa so wealthy? beyond her wildest dreams. Monterey Bay Aquarium does really good work in restoring marine populations. Sea otters almost went extinct like 50 years ago or something. There was like 1,000 otters left in the world. And then um, we did it. We brought them back. <laughs> Instead of being almost extinct, they're just endangered. And there's like 100,000 in the wild now because of people doing restoration work, including Monterey Bay Aquarium, who's like one of the big actors. They also do climate change research. They do legislation for climate change and pollution. This is all on top of them being an aquarium that you can go to, right? These are just a additional things that they do. Education on climate change and marine life. For example, me as a young Douglet, I went to Monterey Bay Aquarium multiple times and they taught me about things. I don't really remember many of them, but I, so it was good. And I fondly remember going to Monterey Bay Aquarium as a child and feeling super inspired. I actually wanted to be a marine biologist for most of my life. And then I started playing video games. But anyways, and most importantly, this money goes to feeding Rosa delicious shrimp and fish. I will say there's a lot of shit going on in the world, obviously the past year. I think there are a lot of places that need a lot of support right now in the world. There's some really challenging things happening. Monterey Bay Aquarium, if this is not your personal cup of tea for like what you want to support as a charity, I totally understand that. I think they're really valuable. They've also been hit really, really, really hard by the pandemic. They had to completely close for like a year. So they've had like no income really other than donations. And I think they do a lot of great work um, outside of just being a sweet aquarium. And I just grew up going there. And so I'm very passionate about it. And then also look at Rosa. Look how cute she is. So I figured
figured it's worth briefly expressing. If this is something you're passionate about, I actually do think this is a really great cause. And all the money raised today will go to making our queen wealthy beyond her wildest dreams. Oh, and Monterey Bay Aquarium like loves us now. And they reached out this morning, an hour ago. Hi there, Doug Doug. We hope things have been well with you. We weren't sure if you're going to be celebrating Rosa again this year. But we want to let you and your community know that we will wish Rosa a possum birthday on Tuesday, August 31st at 1.30 p.m. on the Sea Otter Cam with some ice enrichments. Thank you so very much to you and your followers for so many kind words and support for Rosa over the years. Let me know if you have any questions. They specifically reached out to let us know there's also a birthday party that they're organizing on the 31st, which looks like this. It's adorable. The Monterey Bay Aquarium like loves that we do this. With all that being said, let's celebrate a fucking sea otter's birthday. Happy birthday, Rosa. Wait, holy shit. <laughs> Wait, okay, we've already raised um, 50,000 bits over here, and this is $300. And then we've gotten almost 100 subs, so that's like another 250. So we're, I think we're over $1,000 already. And then again, I'm matching everything up to $2,600. So we're basically at $2,000 already. We've almost broken last year's record. Let's get to the challenges. For the first challenge of the day, you guys are going to try to find a sea otter video on YouTube using click maps. Once the click maps open, you actually click on the screen on your computer and it will show up here as a visual representation of what you guys have clicked on. We will then select that video and move on and on and on and on until you find a sea otter video. Rosa is going to be fucking rich. We're going to start with a, a warm up and then we will do you guys have to find a sea otter video. That's that's how this all progress. What is our warm up goal? Could be shark tail, could be a crab, anything with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is way better. Fat Albert is the meme pick, but is stupid and not stupid. It's ir completely irrelevant. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Mr. Krabs, I think is a great one. Sea otters eat like so many different things. Rosa would happily eat Mr. Krabs or Squidward. Which of these should be our warm up goal? Fat Albert just barely could not out meme Mr. Krabs. First goal, find a video with Mr. Krabs in it. Any final questions before we get started? I love Rosa. She is the best daughter. Shout out to Monterey Bay Aquarium for having the best daughter of all time. E -E -E. They really do. They're just honored to be Rosa's shepherd. Any of us would. You will only have 10 total clicks to find a video with Mr. Krabs in it. Click number one. You are live. Decide where on this screen to click. What video will get you closer to a video about Mr. Krabs? It looks like people are going for family guy roasting every country. There's like a marine video right there. And 8% of you clicked on my face. Okay. I don't understand, but that's cool. Click number one. We're gonna build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have e Okay, we're not we're not gonna watch Family Guy. Maybe this makes sense. Actually, that is a good strategy. I take it back. You guys are going for the meme route. I was thinking you would go for sea animals, but you're totally right. Memes are the way to go. You guys are smart, you know what you're doing. Clicks are back up in three, two, one. The video's on the right. You have to click one of those, which will get you closest to Mr. Krabs. You've got Family Guy, try not to laugh. You've got fun fact about every country in the world. You've got Rick and Morty. You've got Bill Wurtz. And you've got 4% of people trying to play the video about Family Guy. You've selected Bill Wurst. Very memeable. Click number two, History of the Entire World Hi, by Bill Wurst. Rock. Floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. It looks like now we're looking at Mr. Beast videos. Kurgastot? How do you say that channel? Kurzgeet. Kurzgeest. Anyway, uh, you can go for Kurzy Boy. A lot of Mr. Beast. More Kurzy. It's up to you guys. You're two clicks in. You now have to find Mr. Krabs. Kurzgeskot. I don't even know how to pronounce Scott, though. What is your decision? All right, looks like you guys are going for... You're going for Hitler. If there's anybody who can get us to Mr. Krabs, it is Hitler. We're going to Hitler oversimplified. Reason with that. Happy Look birthday. at this baby. So gentle. Okay, we're gonna not. We're not gonna look at uh, more. Quick palate cleanse. Quick palate cleanse. Look at Rosa the sea otter. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. These represented the bits goal for today, which is set at a thousand dollars of bits, and this is a thousand dollars of uh, PayPal. This is like what two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars ish, plus twenty six hundred. So we're at like. $1,300 already. Holy shit. At this point, I'm officially putting in $2,676. We've now doubled last year's donation and we're 34 minutes in. My God, that is really nuts. <clears throat> and now, look at Hitler. Decide what your fourth click is. How do you get to Mr. Krabs? You have more oversimplified. You have ice cream sandwich. You have Mr. Beast. You have college humor. I don't know which of these would necessarily get you to Mr. Krabs. I don't know. All right. So for an instant, it looked like you were going to maybe go for the college humor route. But instead, going back 
You're too scared of Hitler. Click number four is going to be resetting. See what it gets you. Okay, brand new selection. Better variety and more relevant than initially, I would say. Definitely more of a meme selection here. Where do you go from here? You've got Goofy. You've got more Bill Worse. You've got Gus Johnson. You've got Rickroll, sort of. You've got lots of just weird looking memes. We're split almost evenly between Goofy and Rickroll. Okay, we are going for Rick Astley. Does it work out? This is click number five. You're deep in meme territory. You've got more Rick Astley memes. You've got Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You've got more Rick Astley memes. You've got Emperor's New Groove, but it's just memes. You've got Technoblade. Why is Technoblade in here? This is such a weird selection. So we're looking at Emperor's New Groove, but it's just the memes. A lot of people wanted gay Batman. A lot of people wanted the Jimmy Neutron meme, but going for just pure unfiltered memes could be a strong approach. All right, this is your sixth click. What does it provide? Yeah. Definitely cannot play that. Dude, I feel like you're close. You've got Hades being iconic, more Emperor's New Groove memes. For some reason, 100 Days in Minecraft, the gumball. You've got JoJo, Gravity Falls, up, but it's only the dog. Any of these, and for some reason, binging with Bobbish. I don't know how YouTube decides to jam random people into these meme categories, but uh, good for them. I'm restarting the clicks, you're live. Again, you've got four more clicks to find a video that contains Mr. Krabs between Thug Life Kermit, JoJo, Gumball, Gravity Falls, American Dad, or Up, but it's only Doug. This is your seventh. You're live. You can't type things in the search bar. That won't work. That would not be very... Gra really? Gravity Falls? Actually, it is a kid's show. Yeah, that could be smart, because you could get to, like, SpongeBob, but just the memes. I don't know why 25% of you want binging with Babish. All right, you are going for Gravity Falls, but only the memes. Respectable. This, honestly, this could lead you directly to a Mr. Krabs video. Your seventh click is Gravity Falls, except it's just the memes. Does this reveal SpongeBob? Oh, now you're in cartoons. Okay, I see a SpongeBob SquarePants video. But it's Squidward's first Krabby Patty in five minutes. And embarrassingly, I rewatched that episode recently. I'm pretty sure Mr. Krabs is not in it, but you're really close. He is just not for a long period of time. Okay, okay, cool. 100% on the Mr. Krabs one. This will be your eighth click. It could get you the victory right now. But if Mr. Krabs is not in this video, you better hope that there is a SpongeBob video in your next set of recommended. Eighth click. Does it have Mr. Krabs? I hate. I don't think this has Mr. Krabs in it, but you've got a whole... You skipped him at the start? Oh, I get it. You guys just want to watch. It's not in here. You guys just want me to watch this episode. It's a great episode, okay? This is probably the last one, but you have to find a video that actually has Mr. Krabs in it. Clicks are live. 314. It's not. 314 is just his mouth. Mr. Krabs is not in this video. It looks like we've got 53% on every SpongeBob prank ever. A split between that and the official channel. We're going. This is the ninth click. You have to find Mr. Krabs in this click or the next one. Show me Mr. Krabs. Oh, oh, oh! Nine clicks. Yeah! That one was for you, Rosa. Mr. Fucking crabs! Rosa would eat the shit out of both of these characters. Sea otter eating a crab. <laughs> Ooh. F for Mr. Krabs. This is what Mr. Krabs would have wanted. Well done, everybody. That was fantastic. Okay, that was the warm up. Now it's on to the super, super hard challenge. How many clicks for you guys to find a video with sea otters in it on YouTube? 15 or 20 clicks? 22. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. Okay, so in 22 clicks, this is a brand new account or it's an incognito window. Wildlife tab? There's no wildlife tab on YouTube. There's like fashion and beauty and gaming. They don't have wildlife. Top right. Oh, I forgot about these. Holy shit, there's a wildlife category. Or, or, you go for Kevin Hart because he could get you to Fat Albert. All right, everybody, using click maps, you must find a video that contains a sea otter. You've got 22 clicks to do it. You're live. It looks like most people are going for the wildlife tag up top, unless all of you were really trying to click when TV goes wrong. Maybe you could get this in under 10. That would be insane. Your first click is to the wildlife category. Wow. Okay, you've got a big spread of options here. Very smart to go directly to wildlife. I do not see sea otters on this page, but there are orcas versus sharks. Clicks are now live. You've got chipmunks. You've got warthogs. You've got lions. You've got monkeys. You've got birds. You've got Will's biggest elk. Our planet coastal seas. Oh, shit. That could have sea otters. Looks like we're split between orcas and our planet from Netflix. 57% is on our planet. This very possibly could already have sea otters. This is your second click. You've already found deep sea videos. Show me sea otter. Oh, 
Oh, she's beautiful. Three clicks. Two, wait, two clicks. That was very fast. Turns out it's way harder to find Mr. Krabs on YouTube. Oh yeah, that's a world record for sure. Tags should be excluded. Yeah, tags were uh, helpful to say the least. We can find Rosa. There's like four videos on the internet about Rosa. There's a lot of videos on the internet about Mr. Krabs or sea otters. You're narrowing yourself a little bit. Also, I don't know how we confirm which otter is specifically Rosa. I feel like that's uh, not quite enforceable. It's a well-known fact that Rosa defeated Germany in 1945. Um, Rosa was hired by the Allies to act as a U-boat. I think we move on to challenge number two. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to our sea otter exhibit here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. My name is Alan. I'm part of the staff here. If you're wondering where my voice is coming from, I'm the brown fuzzy one with whiskers. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm standing behind many of you here on the second floor of Mezzanine and got my arm raised. I want to direct your attention Next into challenge the exhibit will be Red Dead Redemption. A and while and I set that up, for enjoy our three Rosa. Female sea otters. They don't even know that they're going to be getting like $7,000. Okay, the Monterey Bay Aquarium just DM'd me. Rosa is the otter on the right. God, she's perfect. They're all great otters, but Rosa, there's something special. All the otters are a 10 out of 10, but Rosa's an 11. She's a 22 out of 10. And so ask them to perform she, again those behaviors. Don't tell Rosa to so run. As our <laughs> Rosa does not have a gun. Wine, She's easier to tell apart from the other two because of her super blonde fur. Oh, interesting. I know we sort of we sort of like play things up a bit here, but sea otters are legitimately like the most adorable things on the planet. It is insane. Okay, it's time for me to play some Red Dead Redemption. Challenge two, I have to catch three fish in Red Dead Redemption. You guys have to control the mods. Be sure to help me and uh, don't inhibit my fishing ability, please. To control the mods, you just type things into chat. If you type menu one, menu two, or menu three, you will open up my mod menus and then you can start controlling the game. Type select or enter to actually select an option. Select or enter will pick an option. You can do back, up, down, left, right, or screenshot to control the mod menus. It's time for us to go get Rosa some more fish. Where should I fish in the water yes no thank i get that you go to tahiti i guess yeah if you guys if you guys send me to tahiti i'm just gonna keep fishing that won't stop me this time this is the first challenge i've done where that does not stop me there's lots of fish in tahiti i need to without dying catch three fish three two one fishing time oh fine. nice to, nice day for fishing Just gotta get three fish. Thank you for the seventy-five dollars. That was very kind. Can you put me somewhere where there's water? Oh, there's water! Tahiti! I'm in Tahiti. This is great. Okay, just cool it with the teleporting. This is great. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. No. Nope. Oh my! God. <laughs> that is not how you fish. If I shoot a fish with a cannon, does that count? There's still cannonballs that you've left here. <laughs> Why won't it let me fish? Why can't I equip the fishing rod now? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go fishing. Okay, I might need to. Where the? I think I need to uh, remove menu three. What are you doing to the fishing rod? I don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and say you guys win, and I'm gonna change up the menus. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of you. However, something you are doing won't even let me pull out my fishing rod. So I think we need to go back to the drawing board and mildly nerf you guys again. You were moving too far in the water. Was that why? Well, I had no chance because you were teleporting me every 10 seconds. How about if menu three is like a one in 50? Just to be clear, menu one and two just do goofy things. Menu three is the one where teleporting is the very first option. And it just means I can never stand still anywhere. Now let's do some goddamn fishing. Three, two, one. Okay, put me somewhere with water, <laughs> please. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a lot of turtles. Those don't count as fish, do they? Oh my god! Please let me fish! Alright, this is fine. Okay, okay. This is not really any better. I need- put me somewhere with water, please. I need to find fish. Oh, water, 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 water! Please, 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 please. Why is it so dark? That's fine. Why is it so bright? Thank you, Rusty Russ, with 10 gifted subs. No! <laughs> Shit, I was casting, dude! Every time! Okay, this is fine. I can't shoot it. What did you do? I'm pressing the button. I can't leave. Okay. <laughs> We're going fishing. The cannon is for fishing. Well, you didn't aim it the correct way, and I can't shoot it. And you filled the, the whole river with... Are those armadillos? All right, cool. You got me out. This is fine. You, well, you got me out. 
I don't know what's going on with the camera. I'm not doing anything. You made it so I can't move. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rosa. We'll get you fish soon enough. Dude, I had a cast. I could have done- I could have at least gotten a fish. <laughs> Guys, you're blocking the fish. Okay, sometimes when you're going fishing, there's other fishermen you gotta fight for your territory. Sometimes there's other trains who are trying to fish too. Times like these, you just gotta move down the river a little bit. Give them some space. Why can't- why can't I fish? It says it can't be equipped. Is it because of the hot air balloon? Alright, you keep switching my weapons, which is not allowing me to fish. <laughs> Look at how garbage you put in- I spoke too soon. You guys are littering all over the natural environment. The whole point of this stream is to educate people about littering and about pollution. All right, so that was an example of how not to treat our ecosystem. I hope this was informative. Pollution always wins. No, you're not taking the right lesson from this. Oh, they're still there. Why are they still here? I like to think of you more as beavers building a train dam. See, chat, this is why you must always be conscious of your pollution. Enough people carelessly throw their leftover plastics and train cars into the river. Can I shoot the fish? All I said is I have to catch three fish. I didn't say how. Are there fish just like wandering around in the shallows? It turns out that sitting for 30 straight seconds with a fishing rod is nearly impossible. Oh, I see fish. Oh, did I get it? Pick up fish. Oh my god, I got one! <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, give me a gun, chat. Oh, now you give me a fishing rod. The key to fishing is to move very quietly. <laughs> you want to make sure the river is unblocked. Okay, this is fine. This is this is fine. <laughs> I think it's all part of it. Most important part of fishing is getting the right boat. God damn it. To be fair to me though, I did get one fish. I'm one out of three. And I've learned I don't need to use the fishing rod. Can you, now, I would take one of those cannons now. I would gladly take it. If you line me up with a cannon just aimed into the river and I can just sweep across. It's like trench warfare. We're closing it on 9K? Holy crap. Take a moment to appreciate Doug in all this less than three. Thanks, Scald Bank. But everything I have in my life, every good thing I've contributed to the world, I owe it all to Rosa the Sea Otter. Good news, we've cleaned up the pollution. So I've learned I can use a fishing rod, but if you guys swap that out with a hatchet or a gun, that's fine with me. Two more fish to go. Now you're live. And let's go fishing. Give me binoculars. Oh my god, okay. My gun is invisible. <laughs> what is- If I'm gonna do gun fishing, I need to be able to see. Not like that. I need to make it daytime. I don't need lamps. I need it to be daytime. I don't need more lamps. Whatever. Catch a fish somewhere. I can't see the fish if it's in the middle of the night. I need- <laughs> I need you- I need you to make it brighter. You took all of my items. So you surround me with hot air balloons and take all my money and weapons. Here's the fishing rod. I don't know where this came from, but I will take it up. We'll fish by moonlight. Here we go. What? Come on. Is there supposed to be a horse in this? Um. Not again. <laughs> Not again. I'll let Rosa do it. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna get out, Mr. Chat's wild ride. You guys are polluting again. I can't get out of it. Because each time I try to get out, you put me into a new one. <laughs> Damn it. Here's where I'm at. If I can get like 20 seconds by myself with a gun, I can shoot a few fish and just win. I only need two more. Just gotta play the best fishing of my life. When I catch a fish, I expect everybody to reply just like Arthur Morgan. You, sir, are a fish. <laughs> Soon, I will say that to my very own fish. Three, two, one. We're live. Let's do this. Music type is fuck. This is fishing music. Don't take screenshots. I can't see if a fish is biting. You're literally blocking it. No, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. God, let me catch a fish. I have to run. You're polluting. Can they swim? <laughs> oh my sweet god. Can they swim? Okay, it looks like they're afraid of water. Okay, I'll be swept downstream. Away from them. No. 
Oh my god. Just let me fish. That was a fish, right? I saw it swim away. Did I miss? Please make it daytime. So I need to be able to see. I need to go fishing. I'm in a desert. You put me in a desert! I have a proposal. My proposal is that you give me a 22 second head start and then see what's in it for us. Um, screenshot bazooka. I could give screenshot bazooka back. You can type screenshot for a 1 in 25 chance or you can type happy birthday Rosa. Gives you a 1 in 250 chance of taking between 69 and 420 screenshots with this new weapon in your arsenal. Can you stop me from getting a fish? Let's do this. Oh my god, okay, we're already at guns. That's fine. We're moving on to strategy number two. I see fish! This shouldn't be a blizzard here. Secondly, I feel like I'm not able to hit the fish. Okay. Four people have gotten screenshot bazooka already. This is... Can you spawn a fish so I can just pick it up? Is an alligator a fish? Does anybody know science? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> you, sir! are a fish. Oh, that's a big one. And if I aim my fishing rod just right. Oh no, it's swimming away. Please, please. No, 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 no. Pick it up, pick it up. How do I get it? How do I get it? How do I get, do I use a lasso? Oh, that's a dog. God damn it. Wh where is the other fish? Do I have to like carry it to the land? Okay, I gotta push it to the land. I need to push it to land so I can pick him up. That's it, that's it. You, sir, are a fish. Ladies and gentlemen, we've caught dinner for Rosa. Challenge number two is complete. Took a little bit of pollution. Took a little bit of gunshot, but Rosa's gonna eat well tonight. Let me see how many screenshots you took. You guys got 210 screenshots. Congratulations. How many total screenshots do you have now? Oh, you're so close to a gigabyte. There are horses and dogs everywhere. At least you, you you switched to pollution with horses and dogs, which I guess is fine. All right, that is challenge number two completed. On to challenge number three. Can Twitch chat beat one level of Peggle versus Claude the Lobster? In the past, this took months, but you're much better now. You've been training for this for those months, and now you can do it first try, I'm confident. But we should probably do the art contest first. Made for Rosa by our own community for Rosa's 22nd birthday. We're gonna go through all of the art, and you guys will vote on which is the artiest art. Now, we didn't show every single art in this video because there were over a hundred submissions, but they are all fucking beautiful, and if you go to dugdug.com slash for Rosa, you can check out the full list. Let us enjoy this incredible art honoring Rosa. The oldest daughter, who I think is right there, who is adorable. What is she doing? That's adorable. She scratching her back? That's so cute. Keep track of which number you like, because then we'll do, uh, we'll do, you guys will do a poll thing, and then the poll is just, you're gonna check off which ones you like. Is everybody ready? Let's look at some beautiful Rosa art. A mosaic of Rosa. Like, all different Rosa, how do you even do that? That's freaking adorable. Look at that birthday party. <laughs> Twitch chat, it's just a human with Twitch chat on his face. Look at that cupcake. Oh my god. Roses, roses. <laughs> you made her look so realistic. Thank you, Among Us Chungus Cow. Rosa in a dress. Happy 22nd. Wishing Rosa a very milky 22nd birthday with the pepper in the background. She's being a girl boss. Inside of the box is a gallon of dog milk. Oh my god. <laughs> Anime goth Rosa. This is... <laughs> <laughs> You've got Acre Sea Crew. You've got Goth Rosa with the anime sword, Hot Topic shirt from the Minecraft build battle, Barn as the side character in the back. This is my favorite picture of me ever. I made a Rosa birthday card and sent it to the Monterey Bay Aquarium with two $2 bills inside. If I get a response, I'll update. Love it. Surprised Rosa. That's just adorable. Doug and Rosa come together escaping the cops. I'm too lazy to draw the cops. Use your imagination. Oh, that's adorable. This was made by me in around 30 minutes while I was in math class. <laughs> Is this a real, th you painted this in real life, right? Portrait of an otter. Queen Rosa sits for a royal portrait at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs> Accurate Mario Party with Rosa. <laughs> with the 22 stars. Why do I have one? Z crew with zero stars. I like her um, protrusions. A composite image painting of Rosa the sea otter. Even though it's done with a computer, I did my best to replicate what it might look like if a master painter had created the original by hand with brushes, canvas, and paint. Credit to the original image without which I'd not be able to produce this one. I mean, that's, that's gorgeous. Lady Rosa de la Chonk. 
She is Chonk, she is Floof, she is Rosa the Sea Otter. Cat Rosa, using the AI cat generator tool from that one video. Your original picture is pretty good, although she looks more like a cat than a sea otter in the original. Queen, wow, Queen Rosa. It was only after everything finished I noticed I got the wrong kind of paws. I'm sorry, Rosa. I failed you and your magnificent paws. Please forgive me. She seems pretty upset. That is beautiful. That is adorable. Local Pepper in chat celebrates Rosa's birthday. <laughs> oh, and chat's on like a chalkboard. Happy birthday, Rosa. Oh, that's adorable. I wanted to include our favorite Pepper. I hope Doug's community, and most importantly, Rosa, likes my work. Let's see, did Rosa come out of hiding? No, but this inner tube really likes it. Oh my God. <laughs> the cutest of the stars by Des Fortune. To the queen of the universe, happy birthday, Rosa. Oh, it's her little bucket of toys. I love the, and the colors are so good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I like what you did with the letters. Like they're floating. That is really cool. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. <laughs> That's so cute. Starby 16. Look at her little uh, tiara. Another otter plays with the beacon. Happy birthday, Rosa. <laughs> Kajit Lava. Oh, this is Meridia's beacon. Rosa with a birthday hat is so adorable. This is insane. <laughs> Rosa's Cake by Vaultwee. Happy birthday, Rosa. I hope you like the painting. I wish you could have a great feast with a fish cake as a dessert. Enjoy your day. I like that some people went for cupcakes and some people went for like very realistic fish. It's a song. See the link below. Dear Rosa, <laughs> it's been quite a journey so far. Your oh my God. just a little bit closer. Cause we are utterly smitten with you. Togetic, thank you for this beautiful song. 53, that's adorable. Little party hat and a fish cupcake. The treats for Rosa have generally either been a cupcake, a fish, or a fish cupcake. We're like going the whole spectrum. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Coriality TV, the creation of Doug Doug is a digital painting by Canadian artist Cory Angelo. It illustrates the Douglical creation narrative from the Book of Pepper in which Rosa gives life to Doug Doug, the greatest chef. Oh my goodness. I, I'm gonna like cycle half of these as my computer background. Happy birthday, Rosa. We love you. Thanks, Hippo Jesus. Jeebus, excuse me. Rockin' Rosa. She's beautiful. I made this in MS Paint because it's my preferred artistic medium. You and me both, buddy. Happy birthday, Rosa Uwu. Watercolor of Rosa on her birthday. Is this real watercolor? A cute doodle of Rosa on her birthday made after the divorce from Diablo the Cheater. Have a great birthday. That is adorable, M and Anders. Sorry, M and Emmers. The Soft Boat by Katz and Meister. You really can't just think of Rosa as a soft boat, huh? She has her father's eyes. She really takes after her, her Doug Doug. Oh, that is adorable. Fireworks for Rosa. DJ that plush. <laughs> oh my god, you have everything. This is just so many memes combined into one. It's the Skyrim intro, but Rose is in the cart holding me with cheese saying, hey, it's finally your birthday, and then there's Nazim at the top with the, <laughs> with the Peggle cannon. I mean, the best part is Rosa sitting on the Skyrim wagon saying, hey, it's finally your birthday. That is really, really great. Pad panics. Rosa playing with Bell Pepper Doug. Anthropomorphic Potato, thank you so much. That is adorable. Rosa Dimodome. My boyfriend made this for Rosa. Happy birthday, Rosa. Oh, that is very cute. Spent too much time on this. Happy birthday, Rosa. Doodle Bunny is beautiful. God, it just looks like the comfiest little bed. And I like the fish. Rosa found in a barn by Emsa. This is Rosa in a barn she found. Rosa Dube be chilling. There's a lot going on here. 3D render of an, <laughs> of an otter? I learned how to render animations, use hair, and various other things in Blender during making this. I got a late start on it, might be scuffed, but I learned a lot in a short amount of time. The most important thing is that it's Rosa's birthday. Nail my meat. Thank you very much for this beautiful 3D render. This is insane. Thank you, Rosa, for being our significant otter. <laughs> Chocola, thank you for the beautiful Minecraft card. Eldest in the world. Rosa is now the oldest otter, the oldest living being on planet Earth. Rosa sketch. Well, that's very cute. Oh, it's so tiny. Adorable little pixel card. Rosa, Doug, YouTube, and Twitch loves you. This is not a poem or art because I'm bad at both, but I want to say you should enjoy every moment of life. Damn right, Rosa. She will. 70, oh my god. I eat mud crabs more fearsome than you. <laughs> That's pretty great. There's no country for old men. The young and... It's just the full William Butler Yeats quote. Darth Fodder by Amateur Sage. Rosa Doug with pretty eyes. It's beautiful plane crash. Birthday. Birthday by Bright Blue Potato. Happy birthday, Rosa. Oh, that's adorable. There's so many different styles. Moon Blue Blue. It's adorable. Happy birthday by I Love Haskell. That's adorable. Haskell. Happy beef day, Rosa. An original painting of Rosa. Totally not a crappy version of a famous painting. What is the original painting? Girl with a pearl earring. So who wore it better? Her? Or? 
Shinchanan, that is gorgeous. Somebody get Rosa a pearl earring. Here's an image of Queen Rosa endorsing the Duggar company since they make ethically sourced Doug yogurt. It's beautiful. You can see the barn, the Rosa, the dog, and the fish cake. Very well done. You made a needle felted Rosa. Oh my God. There are like real paintings and crafts in the world. Oh crap, it's feeding time. Uh, to be postponed. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our sea otter exhibit. My name is Yerlani, and I'm up here on the second floor mezzanine. And you are all here at an exciting time because we are going to be doing a training session with our otters today. Feeding time! And a big thank you to everyone watching us online as well. We are celebrating Rosa because it is her birthday month. She is our oldest otter here at the Ooh! aquarium and she is yeah! turning 22 years old. Now that is quite remarkable because in the wild, otters only live about 10 to 15 years. So Rosa Wait, is 10 to 15? doing exceptionally well because here at the aquarium, she does have her own VIP veterinarian, all the food she needs, and of all course, no predators. Also speaking of Rosa, I want to give a special shout out to Doug Doug W and his oh! community on Twitch. They are streaming right now and they are collecting money donations for our aquarium to celebrate Rosa's birthday. So what? special thank you. Y'all are otterly possum. <laughs> oh, we've peaked. The stream will never be this good again. That is actually so cool. <laughs> like, this is a place I like went to a bunch as a kid and loved going to a lot. And now we get to be a part of the feeding session. That's so goddamn cool. Speaking of Rosa being our special oldest one here, she was able to raise 15 pups 15. in her time here at the aquarium. She is Gosh, now retired, best. so she just gets to enjoy her golden years. But we are so thankful because enjoy. that means that those Ten thousand dollars pups of shrimp. that Rosa herself were, was able to save. Thank you so much for joining us today. And once again, a big special thank you to Doug Doug and his community on Twitch for streaming <laughs> this so video cool. here God, today. You guys are the all best. of you as well. If anybody's you, watching, everyone, you guys are the best. That's so cool. That is very kind. What a silly, awesome journey from two years ago to now. I'm very happy to have done this all with y'all. Streams downhill from here. We've peaked everybody. There's also been more subs. We actually, we might be at 10K. Oh my God. We did not just Happy get close to 10,000. That's $10,500. <laughs> During the feeding and the shout out, we broke 10K. That's crazy. That's a lot of shrimp. Oh, feels good, man. All right, let's keep this art contest going. Rose is just chilling, relaxing, having a good time. She usually does, but she hears a call. Looks like she's needed somewhere. Britcha, thank you for this hilarious 3D. <laughs> I like that she doesn't like turn. She just floats directly upwards without moving. She just ascends. Oh my goodness. Birthdays for Whiskered Rosa by Salvatimol. I made sure to add lots of whiskers because they are very important to sea ottering and also super cute. I didn't know how much I wanted birthday hats on a sea otter before today. This drawing took a very, very long time. So I hope Rosa likes it. She loves it. Oh, that is adorable. Mushy boy. Happy birthday, Rosa. Look at her little tummy. Adorable's water. Love it. Also made this in calculus class. No joke. How many of you made this art during your math classes? There's at least two people. Click clack. The most deadly creature of all. They don't look. When they say sea otters use tools, they don't mean like a gun. They mean like rocks to break shells. Grand Theft Otter 5. <laughs> that is very good. Happy birthday, Rosa. In that iconic spray paint, windows paint. This, simply put, is the pure unbridled love that the Doug Doug community shares for the single greatest otter on this planet. As shown by the pink blush lines of rating love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody has made me as a pepper like human before. I've never seen me as a human pepper man. Rose's birthday dance. A screenshot of an animation I made. Well, that's just adorable. For Mama Rosa. My procrastination is my sport. This one also looks suspiciously like you made it during math class. Thank you, Kane. Finally. 116. Happy 22nd birthday, Rosa, by Wolf Wolfgang of 2002. Not very artsy, but please accept this love. Accepted. Let me also draw attention to Mordreus. Mordreus built Rosa a gigantic birthday cake. This is an SMP, right? That would be insane. I don't even know how you get all these colors. This is the SMP? Oh, not just Mord. Okay, but a bunch of people contributed. I mean, I'm not a Minecraft expert. Doesn't that me make this like a thousand times more impressive? To all the Minecraft SMP, Rosa loves your birthday cake. All right, everybody. So the question now, who wins? Look at this beautiful art. It's for you, Rosa. Some of these are just <laughs> ridiculous. God, there are so many good ones. Which art is the artiest art of all art? Wow, with 1,400 submissions. All right, I see who won. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, third place in the Rosa art contest, 46. 
Second place in the Rosa Art Contest is number 45, The Cutest of the Stars by Des Fortune. And finally, the winner, the artiest art of all the art. Our final offering to Rosa the Queen is number 57, The Creation of Doug Doug. Congratulations, Coriali. Chat, there's so many good, so look at the results. Like, this is really close. There are so many in the top that people absolutely love. There are so many of these that I'm going to make like my desktop background. <laughs> No way! So I just received an email from the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Looks like Rosa actually got to watch the art contest. So you're gonna be happy knowing that all your offerings for Rosa have been viewed by our beautiful queen. She's like waving. Thank you for taking this. This is amazing. And since I was here and Rosa was here on the right side, this was actually a recreation of the winning art piece. You didn't just win the art contest, Coriality. You predicted the future. She's even reaching out her paw towards me. It's on to gaming challenge number three. And I'm sorry, there's gonna be some anger and hatred in this one. You're facing off against Claude. One more time in Peggle. This is the sort of challenge that could take five minutes. It could take five hours. If you have not played Peggle, you will type left, right, up, down to move the mouse around. You'll type shoot to shoot the ball. And you just have to hit all orange pegs on the board. As is tradition, you will play a random level of Peggle versus Claude the Lobster. And you just have to beat it one time. Is everybody ready? Random level versus Claude. The code is live. Hopefully this is a, a situation where we um, resoundingly kick Claude's ass. Can you pull it off in one try? You can pull this off. You gotta go for the left one and try to bank it into the right one. It's doable. Right there, oh my God, holy shit! Oh no! Claude! All right, run it back. Twitch chat just has to make the best shot of their lives. Shit. Oh my God! No! Ah! One peg left! Shoot now, shoot now, shoot now! Oh my God! I can feel it. Water's boiling. We've got hot melted butter ready for that lobster ass. This could still be really hard. Hit some moving ones. You need to hit some moving ones. That's great, you hit two. Oh, get that, get that one, get that one. Yes, oh my God, you got two. Six balls, four pegs. Oh my goodness. Get the, get the other one. Oh, oh, okay. And a free ball for points. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Claude the Lobster feels the water. I think Claude the Lobster knows you have six balls and one peg. I think Claude the Lobster has seen that you almost beat the hardest level in the game. I think that Claude the Lobster has seen how you've been one peg away over and over. I think it's time. Cook his ass, chat. Oh! That could do it. That could do it. That could bounce in. That could bounce in. Oh my God. Give him some hope. Let him think he has a shot. Oh! Oh my god, are you kidding? What? Ah! Shit, I'm so Oh my god, last ball. Don't fuck it up, chat! Oh my god, right there. Uh, don't go too far left, don't go too far left. Don't go too far left. Shoot! Go back right, shoot it! <laughs> You've gotta inch yourself left. Just barely, most people should not be moving left. But just like a, like one or two people doing light left and everybody else is shooting. So the instant your mouse moves onto the screen, you take the shot. That's what you need. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Shoot. Now back. Take that shot. No, f oh my god. Okay, same plan. A few people tap the left button and everybody else goes right and shoots. Everybody else go right, you're too far left. Holy sh- Twitch chat, beat Claude the Lobster. Holy shit, you guys. Why did you make that so stressful? Oh, Rosa, today we offer you the body of Claude's cooked lobster ass. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, challenge number three is completed. We've got two more, and we'll have made the best possible birthday for the best possible otter. Challenge number four, can I win a seed race in GTA 5 while Twitch chat controls the mods? And I'm hoping that this one's just pretty quick. 12, that we're over $12,000, that's insane. That is such a huge leap from last year. 
The goal is for me to win a sea race. I have to start on a jet ski and be first place at the very end. So just make sure that you guys help me out so that it goes very smoothly. I say that ironically because you're gonna try to kill me, but you actually could help me. You could drop planes on my contestants. If there's somebody who's about to come at me from behind, spawn a bear. <sighs> Let me boot up the obligatory Mario Kart music. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. How many times have you killed me? So like I said, this should be a nice quick one. No, 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 no. God. Anyways, I think this is going to go really well. Okay, I underestimated... As we talked about pollution. Oh my god. Okay, I'm driving underneath the cars. Can you make it daytime, please? I'm gonna be honest. I am playing. Oh, clog it up for them. Clog it up for the people behind me. And not me, please. They're all <laughs> they're all stuck! Okay, this is great. I can't see a thing. You No, how did he get through that? Guys, you need to change the weather. Oh shit. Okay, as long as I don't get completely clogged up. This has to stop the other guys, right? How did he get through that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me in. What is that thing at the bottom right? Why? Why can't you do this in front of them? In front of my opponents. Okay. I'm in it. No, I'm a duck. <laughs> Hippo Jeebus, thank you. You're spawning a lot of bodyguards. Please change the weather. This is the only weather where I cannot see. Yes, 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 yes. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Okay, I take it back. I all, well, this is still better than a blizzard. This is fine. I'm gonna shoot the gap right here. Come on, come on. What place am I? You remove the HUD that tells me. Okay, I'm in, I'm in fourth, but I'm right here. Can you guys hit one of these opponents with a airplane, please? This is it, y'all. Why is that menu, like, following the jet ski? Yes! 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 Go! Yes! That one's for Rosa! Ooh. We're back at the sea. Reunited with our queen. See, guys, this is the danger of climate change. You guys are beavers. What is all this shit on screen? What is that, the kilometer dial down there? What are these numbers above my head? Every time that uh, I go and try to work on my own mods, I have to go through every setting that you guys have done and undo insane things that prevent me from making the game work normally. We've got just one challenge left. We've beaten the YouTube Click Maps challenge. We've beaten three fish in Red Dead Redemption. We've beaten a game of Peggle. We've beaten the sea race, and now Twitch chat must beat all three aquatic animal characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. All we know is that if we beat this, Rosa's birthday party was a massive success. We're gonna be playing Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're gonna do it in a mode called Squad Strike. What that means is you have three characters. Each character gets one life. To win the match, you must beat all three of the opponent's characters before you lose your three. I think this is gonna be an intense, competitive game. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay, I don't think we're gonna beat this while Rosa is online. So everybody, Say a quick goodnight to Rosa. Rosa has had a very intense six and a half hours of watching us offer up birthday challenges. God, she's perfect. Soon, soon we will beat these computers and offer up to you like $13,000 in delicious shrimp. My energy is dwindling. I have just enough left in the tank to watch you guys kick some CPU ass. Let's do this. Do it for her. Today's been insane. We gotta close it out. Let's do, uh, let's do boxing ring. I think this is our best shot. Click maps, go. Click on the characters that you want. The three that get the most votes will be selected. All right, we're looking at Bowser. We're looking at Ganondorf. The bold move, but I think it could work. And then Rosa comes in at the end and cleans it up. And of course, you will be fighting against the most aquatic characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. A squid a crocodile and a penguin everybody ready three two one this has got to be it we've switched to a big boy strategy bowser can kick some turtle ass okay both you guys just kind of growling at the other side of the screen i like that i like that I like what you're doing there oh i'm liking that too this is good so far bowser's kicking smash 
Knocks off. If you left smash him, you could kill him right now. Oh, I was wrong. You're going to kill yourself with left smashes. Oh, never mind. Bowser's big, and he's beefy, and he's pissed off. He's pissed off that I didn't classify him as an aquatic animal. Hit him with the up. Hit him with the up smash, maybe? King K. Rool's learning about what you guys are doing. That'd be crazy. Uh-oh. Ooh. So. Oh, okay. Back in it. All right. If you stay in this corner, and you just kick some DD ass like that, basically a tie game right now. Slight lead. Ganondorf's insane. Ganondorf's insane! This could be it. There's one stock between us and the completion of the best birthday party ever. Oh no, careful with Inkling. Careful near the edge. One hit could connect you. It'd be great to end this with Rosa, but ideally Ganondorf just beats the crap out of her. Right smashes and you got her. She's chasing towards you. Oh, too late. Okay. Even now would work. Even now. Oh my god. Oh! Ha! That's not a kill! That's not a kill! That's not a kill! If you get one smash attack off, it's done. You got the taunt right here! That's the game! Cannondorf beat the shit out of Inkling! Three aquatic animals beat level three! And she's still here! Rosa! Rosa wants the whole thing! Happy birthday, Rosa! Oh, I'm brain dead so i don't have good words so i'll just say good you guys today good monterey bay aquarium says honestly we're so touched by this thank you all so much i'm not eloquent anymore my brain's dead but thank you for supporting what we're doing and shouting us out it makes it all the cooler uh and makes it even more fun to support a really good cause final call for donations and stuff so that i can set the final total we gotta get like the final number if you want to throw else anything else in at the end now's your time I'm going to tell my kids that I was there for Rosa. <laughs> That's true. Really, Rosa has raised thousands and thousands of pups. Just not all of them sea otters. I'm matching last year's donation. And then plus, I'm going with these totals right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the total raised for Rosa's 22nd birthday party is $14,172. That is insane. That is so cool. Thank you so much, everybody who contributed. That's like a real amount of money. That, that can make a difference on things. That's crazy. And I mentioned it before, but the Monterey Bay Aquarium is a place like I went to as a kid and like was really meaningful to me as a kid. And so it's very meaningful to get to do this with y'all. So I think that's the end. It's been a great seven hours. This was extremely fun. We did an art contest. We made Rosa rich. Uh, I'm gonna go eat dinner and sleep. This was great. Y'all are wonderful. It's so cool that we can do things like this. Each one of you have purchased a shrimp for Rosa. And with that, I will now go and slumber and feed. Happy birthday, Rosa.